Hi, I'm Alex and welcome to Pucks and Paperbacks. Today I am starting off my series where I recommend queer books in June. And if you missed this announcement, in my June TBR I mentioned that every Tuesday in June, starting today, I'm going to recommend you queer books. So today I'm recommending you 12 queer romances that you could read for the Queer Romance Readathon, which is happening from June 13th to the 20th. I'm a co-host. I'll have my announcement video down below if you're interested in that, as well as a blog post with all of the titles I mentioned in this video and their trigger warnings if you need that. Let's get started. This video is going to be split into young adult and over 18 recommendations, so let's start with the young adult recs. First is Felix Ever After by Kaysen Callender. I love this book. This is a coming of age story about Felix Love, who is black, queer, and trans. Specifically, he's a demi boy. He is taking hormones. He has just gotten top surgery and he feels like he will never feel love. He's also an artist and he is enrolled in a summer art program. And the first day he steps in and someone has put all of his pre-transition photos in the school. That is a horrific thing that trans people have to go through and so he is just feeling really low about himself but this story is just all about love in different ways. It's about self-love and it's also about romance. When he sees his pre-transition photos plastered around the school he decides that he is going to catfish the person he thinks did it. I really enjoy this one so if you haven't gotten around to it I highly recommend it. Next if you're new to my channel I like to recommend sports books. It's basically my brand so I had to include The Passing Playbook by Isaac Fitz. Simons. This is about a 15 year old trans boy named Spencer who decides to go stealth at his new school and I love this book for many reasons because it does talk about the commentary on what it's like to be stealth and just how hard of a decision that actually is for trans masculine people to make. Spencer also is a soccer player and he decides to join the soccer team behind his parents back. He ends up meeting a boy. I do want to point out to look into the trigger warnings for this one as well as Felix Ever After because it does talk about transphobia and specifically this one does have some transphobia but there is some trans joy mixed into this book which I really enjoy but there are trigger warnings for religious fanaticism in the form of religious rhetoric. I really enjoy this book for many reasons especially the commentary on trans people in sports because that is a really important issue for me and this tackles it beautifully. There is an element of the story where Spencer is benched because in Ohio you're not allowed to change your gender marker on your birth certificate so his still has an F. Like I said I love this book for many reasons and I also really love Spencer's teammates. They are so fun and I just love all of their personalities. They were a treat to read. Next on my trans book recommendations is Cemetery Boys by Aiden Thomas. This is following Yadriel who is a trans boy and he is trying to prove to his family that he is a real brujo. When his cousin Miguel is murdered he decides that this is the perfect time to prove that he is a brujo. So he decides to do the ritual to bring back his cousin but he brings out a chaotic boy named Julian Diaz. <laughs> this is such a fun book. I really love this one so I had to include it in this video but if you haven't picked it up already I highly recommend it. This is just such a fun book to read and I love the trans representation. I could relate to Yadriel in a lot of senses in this book. I just love Julian and Yadriel together. They are the perfect team. You are going to love these characters so highly recommend to pick it up if you haven't yet. Next, if you like retellings, the Once Upon a Con series by Ashley Poston. There are two books that have main characters who are queer, including The Princess and the Fangirl, which is a retelling of The Prince and the Pauper. This has a sapphic romance between a celebrity and just a girl at this convention and it's really fun. But my favorite is Bookish and the Beast and this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. The main character is bi but we also have a lot of other characters who are queer which I really enjoyed and I thought that this was the best one out of the series but I still recommend all of them. Geekarello which is the first book has a side character who is queer but I would recommend these two if you want to read books about main characters. 
Next I have Last Night at the Telegraph Club by Melinda Lowe. This is a historical fiction sapphic romance set in 1950s San Francisco's Chinatown during the Red Scare. I highly recommend the audiobook for this one but this is a phenomenal historical fiction and I believe there is a sequel or something coming out but I really enjoyed this. I read this in my video where I read the first three books that TikTok recommended me so I'll have that video down below if you're interested. Next is a graphic novel and this is Cheer up Love and Pom Poms by Crystal Fraser. This is a sapphic romance about a trans girl and she is a head cheerleader. It is the transphobia that she experiences but the romance is so sweet and I love it so much. And last for the young adult recommendations I have Don't Date Rosa Santos by Nina Marino and I love this book. If you want a book about grief but just one that has summer vibes I highly recommend this. The main character is bisexual. Throughout the whole book she's crushing on a guy and I just love this so much. I also listened to this on audio and I would recommend the audiobook. It's actually National Audiobook Appreciation Month so it is a good time to read some queer audiobooks but I loved this so much. It's one of my favorite YA contemporaries and I cannot wait to read more of Nina Marino but I highly recommend this. I feel like it's a hidden gem and definitely underrated and it also has some Latinx representation. It's fun, impactful, and I had a really good time reading it. Next we're moving on to the over 18 titles. And so I am going to start off with the book that I cannot stop recommending, Icebreaker by A. L. Gracia Day. <laughs> this is a rivals to lovers romance between Mickey and Jason who are two hockey players. It's set at college. It's about mental health and I have a reading vlog so I'll have it linked down below but this is by a non-binary author, the main character. Mickey is bisexual but he also identifies as Pan. There are side characters who are queer, there's polyamory rep, and overall the cast of characters are so awesome and I love this book a lot. If you're looking for Arrivals to Lovers this is the one to pick up because it is done so well that I was screaming because it was done so well. My vlog is my reactions while reading and it is spoiler free. I will be shouting this book's praises for a very long time because I love it a lot and I couldn't not recommend it in a queer romance recommendations video but it's a really good romance. There are some scenes that are sexual. There are some fade to black but there are some other sexual content. This is a rivals to lovers between two hockey players Jason and Mickey and they are fighting to be the first round pick in the NHL draft. This is one of my favorite rivals to lovers ever written because it's just written so well. If you're new here I'm a hockey fan and this was just such a good hockey book. It just captures everything and I honestly feel like it's perfect. So if you're looking for Arrivals to Lovers to read during Pride, I highly recommend this. Mickey lives with anxiety, depression, and also experiences imposter syndrome. My next recommendation is Arrivals to Lovers novella and this is a Christmas novella. It is The Mistletoe Motive by Chloe Lisi. I really enjoyed this. I also have a video reading it so I'll have that link down below. This follows our our main character Gabby who is demisexual and autistic. She works at a bookshop and this book is just basically her trying to save the bookshop and she's also competing with this guy who she works with. It is so hate to lovers. The hate is real. It's really there so if you really want to hate to lovers this is the one and it is just fun to read Christmas books anytime so if that is something you're interested in I highly recommend this. Also something I really enjoy about Chloe Lisi's books is every chapter has a different song and there's a playlist. So while I read her books I go through the playlist on Spotify as I read and I listen to each song as I'm reading the chapter and it's really fun. Gabby and some of her friends are hockey fans and there's a scene where they go to a couple games and it's really fun so if you're a hockey fan and you want a book with hockey in it I recommend this one as well. Next I have another graphic novel and this is Bingo Love by T. Franklin. I love this because it has queer people in their 60s and so this is a rekindled romance between two queer black women and I really love this one. I highly recommend it if you're looking for older queer characters because it's a good one and there's disability rep. 
Next, I recommended this in my Queer Romance Readathon announcement, but I'm going to share it here as well in case you missed it. This is Their Troublesome Crush by Zan West. It is a trans novella. It has polyamory rep, autistic rep, Jewish rep, and trans rep. I believe that this is a trans for trans romance and I love it so much. I honestly might reread it during the readathon or just this month in general because I need a refresher and I just love it so I need to reread it. It is a really nice romance. I really enjoy it and the characters are in their 30s and 40s. Next is another novella and this is Fearless by Shira Glassman and this is so good. <laughs> it is a sapphic romance between two band moms who are at their kids band competition and they get snowed in. Am I convincing you yet? I love this so much and I don't recommend it enough but I had to include it here because it is a really fun romance and if you are living somewhere where winter is happening I would recommend it but also if it's just too hot out and you want to like pretend that you're snowed in I think that would work too. Next I have two trans novellas and this is Peter Darling by S.A. Chant and Coffee Boy by S.A. Chant. Peter Darling is a Peter Pan retelling where Wendy is trans. It's also a romance between Captain Hook and it's awesome. Coffee Boy is a contemporary workplace romance that I really love. I actually did a paper on it in college because I loved it so much. And my last recommendation is the graphic novel series Check Please by Nikazu Okozu. I love this so much. It is a Achillean romance between two hockey players and Biddy is our main character. It is following him in his college years and he is on the hockey team and he's also a vlogger and he loves to bake. It's a lot of fun. So if you haven't picked them up yet, I think that this would be a perfect time. So that is it for my queer romance book recommendations. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because it'll help more people be able to see this video. And if you're new here, feel free to hit subscribe because I make a lot of content about queer books. I'll leave my playlist down below of all of my book recommendation videos because I make them a lot. And in June, I'll be making them every Tuesday. So also, put on my post notifications so you don't miss out. I'm gonna be tired of saying book recommendation by the end of the month. <laughs> and I'm also doing a Patreon special offer. If you sign up on any tier and fill out a survey, I will give you a personalized book recommendation at the end of the month. I have so much fun doing this and I talk about it more in my June TBR. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave your recommendations down below because I'm always looking for more queer romances to read. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye.